Hello and welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Aaron Porras, here with the latest news from Israel. While speaking at an event held for the Tali Foundation's 40th anniversary, Israel's Education Minister Naftali Bennett stated his feelings regarding the importance of Jewish studies. Bennett aimed to make it clear that the Tali Foundation's goal is to restore the days where Judaism belonged to the entire Jewish people equally. While proposing a plan to strengthen the math study programs around the country, Bennett puts his main focus on increasing Jewish studies in the school systems. Reports have said that apparently the 30 million shekels, or $8 million, that's assigned for Jewish identity activities in schools has really been put towards Orthodox organizations. Eli Sharvit became the new commander of the Israeli Navy on Monday, receiving the rank of Major General during a ceremony that was conducted at the Kirya in Tel Aviv. Sharvit's most recently held position was the head of the Israeli Naval Headquarters. Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman, IDF Chief of Staff Gadi Eisenkot, and Israeli General Staff members all attended the ceremony. Defense Minister Lieberman thanked Major General Ram Rothberg, who Sharvit is replacing for his years of service. Rothberg welcomed Sharvit to his new position and wished him good luck on his new path. The IDF also announced 21 other new high-level appointments, including two female lieutenant colonels who will now be risen to the rank of colonel. All appointments are pending, but are expected to be approved as they wait for final say by the defense minister. The United States Congress passed a bipartisan bill today honoring the incredible life and memory of Nobel Peace Prize recipient, writer, activist, and Holocaust survivor Elie Wiesel. The bill was introduced shortly after Wiesel's passing on July 2nd by U.S. Holocaust Memorial Council members Congressman Steve Israel, Patrick Meehan, and Ted Deutsch. Elie Wiesel's tremendous impact had reached millions across the globe, and I believe he is truly one of the most influential and important figures of our time, said Congressman Steve Israel. Wiesel was liberated from Buchenwald concentration camp in 1945 at the age of 16. Using his grisly experiences to fuel his activism, Wiesel went on to win the Nobel Peace Prize in 1986, founded the Elie Wiesel Foundation for Humanity, and among many other achievements, he was an unstoppable force for good in his campaigns against worldwide issues, such as apartheid South Africa, genocide and famine, and even the U.S.-Iranian nuclear deal. As Congressman Steve Israel continued to say, he educated the world about the atrocities of the Holocaust and engraved the meaning of never again in our hearts and minds. Wiesel is survived by his wife Marion and son Shlomo. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Aaron Porras and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.